The World Health Organization said that it is unrealistic to expect the COVID-19 pandemic to be over by the end of 2021. I think it will be very premature and I think unrealistic to think that we are going to finish with this virus by the end of the year, Dr. Michael Ryan, executive director of the WHO's Health Emergencies Program said at a press conference on Monday. But I think what we can, if we are smart, finish with the hospitalizations, the deaths and the tragedy associated with this pandemic, he said. Dr. Somya Swaminathan, chief scientist of the WHO, added that the goal of COVAX is to bring an end to the acute phase of the pandemic by the end of 2021. COVAX is a program led by the WHO, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance and the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, CEPI, aiming at distributing COVID-19 vaccines around the world. We still face a huge challenge in rolling out vaccines equitably and fairly to those who most need them around the world, said Ryan. Meanwhile, 256 candidate vaccines are still being developed worldwide, 74 of them in clinical trials in countries including Germany, China, Russia, Britain and the United States. Tripura State President of Lok Jan Shakti Party, LJP Rupam Kar, has been arrested by police for allegedly cheating people in the name of allotting foreign liquor shops and jobs. Rupam Kar, a resident of Bardowali, allegedly cheated people of a total of rupees 60 lakh. Kar has been arrested in connection with the case filed on December 18, 2020. After a police raid in his house, 25-year-old Carr was arrested along with forged documents, rubber stamps of government officers, ONGC and Indian oil, computer and printers. Sources said the recovered and seized items were used by Carr to create fake foreign liquor license, petrol pump allotment and job offer letters in return for a huge amount of money. A police case was lodged by Sabya Sachi Singh, TCS Superintendent of Excise. Singh lodged a complaint against Tapan Saha of North Badarghat, who submitted fake documents, but during preliminary investigation, it was found that he was cheated by Rupam Kar. Rupam Kar is being interrogated to find out all those involved in the whole racket. Meghalaya Power Minister James P.K. Sangma dashed to New Delhi today to meet Union Power Minister R.K. Singh as the state had to resort to sudden power shutdown in the entire state due to certain issues regarding the letter of credit from the NTPC. Power Minister James Sangma said a meeting chaired by Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma discussed all possible solutions to the sudden load shedding that Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited had to impose due to certain issues regarding the letter of credit for the National Thermal Power Corporation or NTPC. The NTPC suddenly regulated the power supply to Meghalaya on Monday, which compelled the MEECL to impose load shedding for six hours from Tuesday till the issue related to the letter of credit is solved. He said the letter of credit is amounting to rupees 18 crore and this letter of credit has to be made available to the NTPC. Though we have stopped drawing power since 2017 from the NTPC due to high tariffs, but despite that, we will still have to pay because they have charged us the fixed charges that we have accumulated over the years, Power Minister James Sangma said. President of newly formed Brajor Dal Akhil Gogoi urged opposition parties in Assam to put up joint candidates against the ruling Bhartiya Janta Party-led coalition in the coming assembly elections in order to divide votes. Rajor Dal President Akhil Gogoi, who is currently under treatment at the Gauhati Medical College Hospital, made this request in a letter written to the regional parties. It is to be mentioned that the handwritten letter is currently doing rounds on social media. Further, the letter was read out to journalists by Rajor Dal leader Bhakso D. Saikya. I appeal to all opposition parties that in order to defeat the communal and fascist BJP, we should put up one common candidate against the BJP and its alliance partners. That will prevent the division of anti-BJP votes. If required, I will not contest the election," said the letter. Rajor Dal and Assam Jatiya Parishad AJP have decided to contest the election jointly but have decided to stay away from the Congress-led Grand Alliance. Seven footballers from Manipur have made it to the list of 35 probable players shortlisted by the All India Football Federation AIFF for the Indian national team's upcoming friendlies against Oman and United Arab Emirates, national coach Igor Stimak announced. The Indian national team is scheduled to play their matches on March 25th and March 29th against two prominent teams from the Middle East. 
The players from Manipur include goalkeeper Dheeraj Singh Moirang Tham, defender Chinglen Sana Singh Kongsham, midfielders Udanta Singh Kumam, Jackson Singh Thauna Jam, Yasir Mohammed, Suresh Singh Wangjam and Bipin Singh Thauna Jam. According to AIFF, the final list of 28 players will be announced after the Hero Indian Super League final match which is slated to take place on March 13th.